in this video we are going to discuss about lagrange's algorithm with an example first let's see what is lagrange's algorithm the order of subgroup of a group divides order of the group so what is lagrange's algorithm the order of subgroup of a group divides order of a group so that means order of the subgroup divides order of the group uh, let us see here let g be a group and h be a subgroup of the group so g means group h means subgroup of the group then mod h divides mod g mod h means order of the subgroup mod g means order of the group order means how many elements are there let g contains four elements then mod g means four okay so here mod h divides mod g mod h means order of your subgroup so order of your subgroup divides order of the group so this is lagrange's algorithm the order of subgroup of a group divides order of the group now uh, let us demonstrate this algorithm by taking uh, this example let us see the example find all the possible subgroups of the group g comma star where g is equal to 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i so here the group contains four elements so 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i here we have to find out all the possible subgroups of the group okay so we need to find out subgroups of this group 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i so let us see the solution here the order of g is mod g is equal to how many elements are there in g four elements 1 minus 1 i minus i so order of g is equal to 4 so what are the divisors of 4 the divisors of 4 are 1 2 4 the factors of 4 are 1 2 4 okay so subgroups of the group are also 1 2 4 so subgroup may contain what order 1 element subgroups of order 2 subgroups of order 4 now we have to find out the subgroups of order 1 subgroups of order 2 subgroups of order 4 why because here the group contains four elements so let us find out subgroups of order one so order one means here the subgroup contains only one element so group contains how many elements one minus one i minus i so we have to take only one element from that uh, group okay so h1 is equal to within the curly braces one what is h h means subgroup whereas g means what group here we are finding the here, here we are finding subgroups of order 1 so we can take either 1 or minus 1 or i or minus 1 but we have to take only one element here this h1 is a subgroup uh, we know about subgroup subgroup means uh, it has to satisfy four properties the first property is closure property second property is associative property third property is identity element fourth one is inverse element okay if there are any doubts regarding subgroup uh, then please refer uh, my previous video regarding the subgroup i will share that link in the description so please go through that link in order to have uh, much idea on the subgroup okay here h1 is equal to within the curly braces one here we can say that uh, this subgroup satisfies those four properties so we can say that it is a subgroup h1 is a subgroup okay so here what we have to do we have to find all the possible subgroups so on order one we have one subgroup is there that is one okay we can take one element we can take either one or minus one or i or minus i okay there is no problem now let us find out subgroups of order two order two means what here the subgroup has to contain only two elements so we can take either one comma minus one 1 comma i 1 comma minus i minus 1 comma i i comma minus i so likewise uh, here we have written four combinations 1 comma minus 1 1 comma i 
वन कामा माइनस आई वन कामा माइनस आई एंड लास्ट वन इज आई कामा माइनस आई इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वन कामा माइनस वन इज ए सब ग्रुप ऑफ दट ग्रुप सो वी कैन से दैट हेज टू इज ए सब ग्रुप वाई बिकॉज ऑलरेडी वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई शेयर दैट लिंक इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट लिंक ओके सो वी कैन से दैट वन कामा माइनस वन इज ए सब ग्रुप ऑफ द ग्रुप so 1 comma minus 1 is also a subgroup of the group okay uh, if you want uh, you can find out whether 1 comma i 1 comma minus i and i comma minus i is subgroups or not but uh, this one is a subgroup on order 2 of order on order 2 so we have one subgroup is there so i am writing that one 1 comma minus 1 so 1 comma minus 1 is also a subgroup of that group Now let us find out subgroups of order four. H six is equal to why? Because H two, H three, H four, H five. Already five subgroups are over. The next subgroup is H six. So H six is equal to one comma minus one comma i comma minus i. So it also satisfies uh, uh, all those four properties. So what are the four properties? Uh, closure property, associative property, identity element, and uh, what is the last one? Inverse element. It also satisfies those of those four properties, so we can say that H six is also a subgroup. So we so the next subgroup is one comma minus one comma i comma minus i. So we can say that these three are the subgroups of this group. Okay, in this way we can easily find out uh, uh, subgroups of uh, the group. Uh, if we have uh, if we need a perfect area, just better to go. to the previous video so that you can get the perfect clarity if you take 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i we have to satisfy those four properties okay so this is about uh, lagrange's theorem